Hi everyone, welcome back to another food prep video. If you don't know this by now, I love food prepping. It just makes life a whole lot easier. There's some food prep staples that I pretty much do every week. I love cutting up bananas and putting them in the freezer so they're ready for things like banana and ice cream. I also love making these things I call power packs for my salad. So they're basically in these little jars and you can just throw them over your salad. I've done all this stuff in previous videos if you're interested in what I normally do during the week to food prep. I'll link those videos down below. These are the things that I've recently been food prepping. So for breakfast I like a big green smoothie so to food prep that I just have some baby spinach and kale, two bananas, and a tablespoon of flax seeds. And really this is just for early mornings. It's just one less step I have to do so I add all those ingredients, put the top on, and then I just put the whole thing in my refrigerator and all I have to do in the morning is add some frozen fruit and water and it's good to go. I've been doing this next thing a lot lately, just prepping my vegetables. So instead of opening the refrigerator and seeing all this bag stuff, I just chop all this up and put them into little, I call them veggie bags. So it just kind of encourages me to eat more vegetables during the day. It's just a bag that's easy to grab and go and it's great for snacking. And any vegetables that I don't finish, I just end up throwing over a salad. And you'll see I only food prepped two bags just because once you cut into vegetables, the freshness tends to go sooner. They're also really nice to just grab out of the refrigerator and dip in your favorite hummus. This is my favorite hummus because there's no oil and you can obviously make your own, but that's my go-to. I'm food prepping some chili to have during the week, some diced tomatoes, some tomato paste. For the vegetables, I'm just using corn and a red pepper, and black beans, pinto beans, and some low sodium chili broth. And I'm also sauteing some onion and garlic over here. So after the garlic and the onion cooked, I added in my corn and the pepper. I added a cup of the vegetable broth and a full 28 ounce can of the diced tomatoes along with the juice and then six tablespoons of this tomato paste. You're going to let that cook a little bit and then finally add your beans and your spices. This is really up to you. I mean, you can add any beans, any vegetables. This is just kind of what I had and it was super delicious. I think I would have actually doubled this recipe because it's so good and I ate it all pretty quickly. So it's just really nice to have like a big meal like this in your refrigerator during the week just so you can easily grab and go, bring it to work, bring it with you, and it's super healthy and delicious. So this last thing that I food prepped was just for if you have a sweet tooth like me, this is just kind of a cakey dessert type thing to have on hand. So I used seven dates, just make sure you take the pit out, about a half cup of shredded carrots, a cup of some oats, some water, maple syrup, vanilla extract, and then just some spices. I use nutmeg and cinnamon. And they're honestly really easy to make. You just blend everything together until you get this nice doughy consistency and you just roll them into balls and then maybe roll them into coconut flakes. I didn't have any, so I ended up rolling it into granola. And you just wanna put it into your freezer for at least two hours before you eat them. And I just love having these in the freezer during the week. If I ever feel like I want something a little bit sweet, then I just go in my freezer and pull one of these out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to press the subscribe button and also press the like button if you enjoyed this video. That would be awesome. I hope this helped you guys out and I hope to see you soon. Bye.